So the next part of the discussion here is that is displacement reactions. If you go for displacement reactions, displacement reactions, if you go for displacement reactions, that is, uh, it's like this principle, if you go for principle, more reactive metals, more reactive metals displaces less reactive, less reactive metals, metals from its from its salt from its salt solutions from its salt solution so for example if you take if you take the reactivity series if you take the reactivity series of metal series of metals you find that if you take copper copper if you take and uh, zinc if you take and lead if you take we can see that copper and lead are more reactive and uh, zinc and lead zinc and lead are more reactive and copper is uh, less reactive so if it is less reactive then you can take one uh, equation zinc solid plus copper sulfate copper sulfate aqueous which is blue color bluish color solution it immediately here zinc is zinc oxidation number is 0 and copper sulfate copper oxidation number is plus 2 uh, so this copper is getting reduced zinc is acting as a reducing agent if it is acting as a reducing agent then copper sulfate it gets converted to copper solid plus zinc sulfate aqueous this is you can say that blue color fades in the case of copper solid blue color fades and uh, the zinc sulfate is going to become white precipitate precipitate so here uh, this is one type of reaction where that means zinc is reducing the copper sulfate to copper and by itself it is getting oxidized zinc in zinc sulfate zinc is plus 2 and copper is 0 this is one type of reaction then you can go for one more reaction if you want that is likewise if you take iron it is if you take iron solid and if you treat it with copper sulfate here iron solid uh, when it reacts with copper sulfate aqueous solution uh, this uh, iron gets converted to ferrous sulfate and uh, copper is getting reduced to copper solid and here you find that iron is going to become brownish brownish color it appears a brownish color solution this is bluish bluish color and this color fades here color fades less bluish color is obtained because it's a solid from this equation it's very it's very clear that between therefore between iron and copper uh, you can see that iron is more reactive iron is more reactive similarly between between zinc and copper zinc and copper that is zinc is more reactive zinc is more reactive so the next part of the discussion is double displacement reactions double displacement reactions if you take here when two or more atoms or groups of a compound react 
exchange of exchange of radicals means cations or anions cations and anions occur resulting in formation of formation of a new salt and a precipitate ppt stands for a new salt ppt stands for a precipitate ppt stands for precipitate and a new salt is formed suppose for example you take sodium sulfate sodium sulfate aqueous plus barium chloride barium chloride aqueous it gives barium sulfate barium sulfate uh, in the downward arrow plus sodium chloride aqueous so what you are noticing here is this is a precipitate it's a white precipitate it's a white precipitate so for example what are the ions involved here for example sodium sulfate contains Na plus and SO four two minus and barium chloride contains one barium ion and one chloride ion. So there is an exchange of radical is taking place. Exchange of radical is taking place. The sulphur ion which is anion is going towards barium and the chloride ion which is anion is coming towards sodium cation. So therefore it is resulting in the formation of this will result this results in the formation of one is sodium chloride comma barium sulfate this is called double displacement reaction with exchange reaction this is example 1 now example 2 suppose for example example 2 if you take that is silver nitrate reacts with the barium chloride aqueous Again, aqueous, we get here Ag Cl precipitate, white precipitate, white precipitate plus barium nitrate, aqueous. So, what are the ions taking place here? In silver nitrate, we have one Ag plus ion and one nitrate ion, and in barium chloride, we have one barium ion plus one chloride ion. So exchange of ions are taking place here. So barium barium is being exchanged towards nitrate and uh, silver ion is getting exchanged to chloride ion. So this is a kind of exchange taking place and therefore we find that here we get two compounds one is um, silver chloride and the one is barium nitrate silver chloride and barium nitrate exchange of ions are taking place so in this way we can study about the displacement reactions where in which the exchange of radicals are taking place between the reactant molecules such that one precipitate and one new salt is formed so here this is the precipitate and this is a salt soluble salt again this is soluble salt insoluble precipitate wherever we are calling it as precipitate it is insoluble wherever it is soluble that means that salt is completely soluble in it is able to dissolve itself in water if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus